Our team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Mike Cuno, who's live in Boca Raton tonight, where the family of Joaquin Oliver is saying their goodbyes. Mike? Yeah, Dan, I'm sure you could see the police lights behind me. They're still guiding traffic here. Cars aligning the street here on military trails. Hundreds come to pay the respects for 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver. We saw two of these services yesterday. Sadly, this will be a common sight because of Wednesday's shooting. Here at the gardens of Boca Raton, members of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas family came to pay the respects for 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver. Rarely a dry eye walked past us today. Many of the mourners wearing athletic jerseys to honor Joaquin, who is described as a huge sports fan. Yeah, um, all throughout his life, played sports, really enjoyed it. Always had jerseys on in school. Never caught him without a smile on his face playing sports. He just all around great kid and just brought the environment to a happy place. Like, it's just tragedy. Joaquin moved from Venezuela to the U.S. as a young child and became a naturalized citizen back in 2017. Sadly, his American dreams will not come true, but his former classmates say the outpouring of support is helping the grieving process. It's just, it just shows that everyone can come together. That I mean, it doesn't matter if you know him or not. You just come show respect. Just come together as a community. Earlier today, the principal of the school delivered a message on YouTube, his first address on camera since Wednesday's shooting that claimed 17 lives, 14 of them students. The love you've shared and continue to share is going to help us get through these trying times. And Eagles, I promise you, I will hug each and every one of you as many times as you need, and I will hold you as long as you need me to for all 3,300 of you and your families, and we will get through this together. While it's unknown when the high school will get back to normalcy, Thompson closed with this message to his high school. Our community is strong. Our students are strong. We will persevere in these trying times. As you can see on the media, my staff and my students are living our motto. Be positive, be passionate, and be proud to be an Eagle. We are MSD strong. Continue to send us your thoughts and prayers, and God bless the Stoneman Douglas Eagle Nation. As you can see, flags at half staff. The White House says President Trump reached out to Principal Ty Thompson. He praised them for their resolve in the face of danger. In Boca Raton, Mike Cuno, CBS 4 News.